What is SOG? Military Assistance Command, Vietnam Studies and Observation Group, MACV SOG. SOG was a highly classified multi service United States Special Operations Unit which conducted covert, unconventional warfare operating prior to and during the war in Vietnam. Established on 24 January 1964, the unit conducted strategic reconnaissance missions in the Republic of Vietnam, South Vietnam, the Democratic Republic of Vietnam, North Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. Carried out the capture of enemy prisoners, rescued down pilots, conducted rescue operations to retrieve prisoners of war throughout Southeast Asia, and conducted clandestine agent and team activities and psychological operations. I am your host, Bruce Christensen. The history of MACV SOG tells the stories of those who have fought violently to protect the liberties we most hold dear. The history of MACV SOG has preserved and honors legendary feats of SOG soldiers. The history of MACV SOG provides military history to today's soldiers, veterans of all conflicts, their families, and the public at large. Our mission is to educate, inspire, and engage our communities now and for generations to come. My father, Paul Christensen, was assigned to SOG. Although he never talked about it, I did see his pictures and plaques. I knew he was a Green Beret, but not until my 30s did I find out what MACV SOG was all about. Their website, blogs, and videos are dedicated to all the SOG warriors and the supporting units, such as the Air Assets, Maritime Operations, Mike Forces, and all the indigenous troops assigned to SOG. One such warrior is Bob Donahue. Food Run by Bob Donahue, narrated by Bruce Christensen. Location, FOB3, Mylock. Date, August 1968. Mission, fly to Coin Tree, locate Vietnamese official, and purchase a water buffalo. Fly the water buffalo back to Mylock. Quezon was abandoned in July 1968, FOB-3 personnel being the last ones to leave. A no for land movement in cattle trucks brought us to My Lock. My Lock was located east of Camp Carroll and south of Camp Lowe. Other than a small RF slash PF encampment, there was no fortified positions. An engineer company arrived to build us a dirt strip for us. As our convoy arrived, one of the vehicles hit a landmine right in the village of My Lock. We found out later, My Lock, was the NVA r and Center. Early August, we had limited supplies and equipment to feed ourselves and our brews. That being the case, every week or so, there was a food run to Quan Tri or Dung Ha. There, rice and buffaloes were purchased, and since we had no freezers or refrigerators, the buffaloes would have to be kept alive until we'd slaughter them. The food run roster finally showed up. I had the next assignment. I was told that one of the 101st Airborne Hueys assigned to us would be available for me. I grabbed Bun Ba, my team's 01, and we were off to Quan Tri. Arriving at Quan Tri, we located a Vietnamese official who led us to a scrawny old farmer who had a large water buffalo with him. I handed him $400 in Vietnamese dong, and the farmer started hog tying the animal with some homemade rope. With the help of numerous onlookers, the buffalo was lifted into the Huey and strapped down. The helicopter crew was not happy about this mission. The Huey was started up in Mumbai, and I jumped to the back with our cargo. We climbed to about 1,000 feet and headed back to my lock. Things were going very nice until the buffalo got panicked and started moving around. Even though he was strapped down, the homemade ropes holding his feet together started to become unraveled. Next, the cargo straps started to loosen up and the movement of the animal caused the helicopter to rock back and forth. The animal was becoming loose and the crew yelled at me to do something. As animals was thrashed around the helicopter, one of its horns jammed into the chopper's deck. Bum Bay started yelling at me to shoot him, shoot him! I took out my Colt 45 and fired one round into the buffalo's head. The first shot ricocheted off the buffalo head into the side of the helicopter. 
The second shot entered the buffalo's head and blew his phone all over the place. Right at the back of my lock, one bay and I was helped by a pissed off air crew and pushed the dead buffalo out of the helicopter. Damage to the aircraft was one hole in the floor from the buffalo's horn, one forty-five bullet hole through the side of the helicopter, and blood all over the place. After action brief, one, one bay and I would scribble the blood out of the Huey. Two, all future buffalo trips would be sling loaded. Another great Mac V Sog story by Bob Donahue. Watch our YouTube videos, give us a thumbs up, and we'll continue making them. Thank you.